Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who is going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Dick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Virginia Commonwealth Rams and the St. Mary's Gales. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Gales looking at a very capable opponent tonight, Dick. What are their keys to victory, do you think? If I'm on a bench, Brad, my keys would be simple. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if we can get their big man in foul trouble. And finally, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. For two. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Here's a double team. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He shoots from left of the circle. You betcha. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. And the ball goes out of play. The center takes the feed. Double team now, that angle. From right in the circle, he makes the shot. Another turnover. And they're not talking out the turnovers either. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Up and inside. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. You don't see plays like this every day. the perimeter great steal I think the pressure was just too much tremendous pressure just enough to force the steal down in the low post defensively great anticipation in the steal you can see they did a great job studying in film they anticipated that ball coming to that post Virginia Commonwealth is showing a bit of a run here things are going their way right now Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to feed the low block. And they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. Transition opportunity coming up. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Here's the trap. He unloads a three. That's a 7-0 run. They work it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. He gets the bucket to fall. Frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Gets it to fall. Mm -hmm. 
down inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Sets the screen for his teammate. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They go into the low block. Coach looks on, focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Shoots from outside. He gets the shot to fall. Now trying to feed the low block. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Shots there if he wants it. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He looks at the hoop. Set that screen away. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The small forward takes the pass. On the outside. The center gets the ball. Here's a double team. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The ball goes out of play. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> he gets up the floor on the break, trying to draw the foul. Virginia Commonwealth are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Great anticipation defensively. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. No good. They come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the low post. Way off target. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Rams have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Glad he's on fire. The player's got a much needed breather with that timeout.
The center with the ball. They still don't score. Puts it up looking for contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. What's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He buries it. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Dick are doing a great job defensively down here in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He unloads. That's good. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Number two gets the pass. He shows the sweet touch. They're working around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. He fakes the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Time to pick up the defense here now. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Gave it up. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He's got some room. He shoots from outside. He comes up empty. On the outside. For two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. On the dribble, gives it up from three-point range. It sticks. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. There's the trap. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Oh, what a great job transition. 
offense. Poor job defensively. They don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert just to let the game go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious rub with their shooting, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. Picks off the pass. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. And she's got the score for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Number 20 going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. Jumps into the defender, and he scores it off the glass. Changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Turns it over. Pushes it up with a quarterback pass. Good fake. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. That's a 12 zip run. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing it. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. The Rams are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the shot. the outside tries for two perfectly executed moving it around the perimeter from downtown it's good number 50 is pretty fired up and excited and you know what Brad I'm excited for him he's putting on a performance for the bucket can't get the shot to go Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from left of the circle. The Rams have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Top of the circle. Got it. The 
They'll work it around the arc. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He takes the shot off the baseline. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Here they come now on a turtle. Mary's at home. Pressure that basketball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Taken away. They get out on the break. Looking for the foul. A whistle and foul. Coach not happy in the sideline. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Drains it. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Double team now, bad angle. Pro in the paint. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. In the paint. Number 50, pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Steals a pass. He pushes it up court. Goes up for two. That was nice. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. For two. The Gales have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He lets it go. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Rams are behind by seven. Let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. The Gales have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They work the perimeter. Dumps it in. Fake. And now they'll bring it up. Tries for two. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Off the rim and no good. Steal. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The high screen. And he scores it off the glass. Post screen. Intercepted. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Shot rejected. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Rims out. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. is off. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Fakes it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Receives the ball. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. That spin move not successful, Dick. Blocked. Nice job defensively. And in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. Strips the ball. Side. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Working it around the perimeter. There he is. Puts the ball loose. They run it up into transition. Virginia Commonwealth are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Here. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense.
We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, Ethan? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Looking for a good shot. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. For the deuce, rims out. Nice fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The power forward handles the pass. He pump fakes. Kicks it out. Coming inside. Stolen ball. And now, coming the other way, there's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. He strips him clean. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Great athletic. Receives the pass. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Working around the arc. From the top of the circle, the Rams have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Look at that spacing. Takes away the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That comes off, might have been some contact on the shot. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And a momentary look from three-point land for the bucket. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. The center handles the feed with the fake. 
Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He shoots from right of the circle. He knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart Dickie's gonna kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you jumped in front to take it away perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter goes up for two perfectly executed now they work it around the perimeter nice steal there but the offense gets the ball back there's the screen up on top Pull-up jumper from way out. Buried it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. The Rams trail by five. Number two is whistled for the foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Great shot. Let's slow this one down on a replay. Too physical. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. He puts it up, drains the shot. The Rams are down by four. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Number 20 steps up to the line. Makes the shot. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. the outside picks off the lazy pass looking for a good shot lets it fly the Rams have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep getting him the ball it's simple
Steals the pass. Up and inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They push it up on the break. For two. Up. Easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It's stolen. Up and inside. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He nails the shot. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Got a nice screen. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He attempts the trifecta. What should they do here, Dick? I'd go to time out and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. The fake. Here's a double team. Unloads at three. Way off target. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Great defense. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a double team waiting there. On the outside. And the ball goes out of play. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. The ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't fight an empty seat. Jumper 
He gets it to go. Picked out of the air. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. On that basketball. Pushes it. He throws it deep. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Got the shot if he wants it. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. He tries the three ball. Makes it. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Nick. I'll tell you, it's time to start fouling. The order stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. They continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Johnson goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. He hits the second shot. He shoots from long range. He nails the bucket. Pushes it up. Working it around the perimeter on the outside. The Gales are now in the bonus. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers on this shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. This with the ball is never a good thing. The offense sets up from the sideline. Robs him of the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. All right, Nick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. 
the Gales is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.